Get positive how's it going everybody got for you guys today the second upload of today and if you missed the first upload a link to that will be down in the description or there should be an annotation on your screen so make sure to go check that out after or before you watch this one so yeah hopefully you guys are enjoying the uh, two uploads a day and if you guys are enjoying it then make sure to hit that like button guys if we can get 300 likes on this part much like the first part i would greatly appreciate that because not only will that show me that you guys are really enjoying the two showdown lives a day but it definitely does motivate me to want to upload more for you guys so yeah today the team that i will be using is a team that i got from one of my newest buddies known as by i'm by sharp uh, some of you guys might know him from the NU room. I think he's actually voiced or he's a mod there or something. And I asked him for a team and he gave me this team. It's a very fun team that he based around Choice Bandit Pangoro and uh, Rain Dance Ludicolo. Then he also has Rain Dance uh, Saifinto, which has not been seen at all this generation. And I remember that this was actually kind of popular last gen. Then we have a Scarf Analytic Magneton. The reason why this is analytic is because for those of you who don't know, when a Pokemon switches out, Magneton does actually get the analytic boost. So he will be doing the extra damage with the Volt Switch, Thunderbolt, Flash Cannon, or Hidden Power Grass. Next off, we have just standard Life Orb Sigilyph because this is such a huge threat. And then we have Swallow, which actually I've really been wanting to use Swallow, so I'm happy that he has it on this team. So yeah, guys, that is the team. Hopefully y'all do enjoy this. And with that being said, let's get into the Alright guys, so we got the battle here, and this dude has a very interesting looking team. Looks to be very offensive based, although he has Gogo, and that might be Offensive Cryogonal. Um, I think my best lead should be my Magneton, as he ends up actually leading off with the Go-Goat. I'm gonna go ahead and go straight for the Volt Switch, as he decides just stay in. Unfortunately, I don't do entirely too much damage to him, and I should be able to just safely bring in my Sigilyph, as he ends up going for the Elite Seed. Okay, I'm fine with that, seeing as this turn I should be able to just safely go for a Heat Wave most likely just on the off chance that he does want to switch out and even if he stays in I'm still gonna get off a good amount of damage on that and to be honest looking at his team he really has no safe switching as he brings in the crustal gonna get off a nice 48% amount of damage on that unfortunately though I don't know if Psych... I was gonna say Sasha. I don't know if Psychic will knock it out but it would be really nice to just get rid of this crustal so I'm gonna predict him to want to go for the stealth rocks as I actually do manage to knock him out wow okay that's actually the first time I've seen Crustle this gen. As he brings in the Barbarical. Uh, that's probably going to be Shell Smash. Uh, so I'm going to stay in a predicting the Shell Smash. And I'm going to go for the Psychic as I get off a huge amount of damage. Unfortunately though, he is going to be able to get the Shell Smash off. And this is actually really scary. Uh, whoa. This is no bueno. No bueno. I have to fodder something off. I'm thinking maybe... Ludicolo? Because looking at his team... I might. Yeah, I'm going to fodder off Ludicolo. As he ends up going for the Ray... Holy crap! That did way too much damage. And he just annihilates me with the Big Break. Okay, this is really not looking good. So I'm going to bring in my Seismitoad, hoping that he thinks I am defensive, and I live! Yes! Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I could have actually gone for the Rain Dance, although he could easily just bring in Go-Go. Holy crap, I honestly thought that I was swept right there. Good thing, though, Barbaric who came through, and he actually did think that I was uh, just defensive. As he brings in this threat... I honestly don't need this whatsoever, so I'm just going to stay in and I'm going to go for the Hydro Pump on the off chance that for some reason I live any move that he goes for as he ends up making the safe play by going for the Flamethrower. I should be able to honestly just bring in my Pangoro now, and what I kind of want to do is go for the Parting Shot maybe, or Storm Throw. I think I'm going to Storm Throw actually. Yeah, so he's going to stay and I should be able to live just barely and in return, I will be able to knock him out. For those of you who don't know, Storm Throw crits every time, so... That crit really did not end up mattering too much, I think. <laughs> so I am able to get rid of that as he brings in the Cryogon. Unfortunately though, this thing is going to be a bit of an issue. And I might still have use for this against Go-Goat. Actually, hold on. Well, how fast is Go-Goat? Let me see. Slash. Data go -Goat. Base 68. Slash data Pangoro. Pangoro. 58. I should be able to tell it's speed. Go-Goat. But I mean, I have Swallow, so I think I should be able to just fodder off my my uh, 
big thing. <laughs> I called it big thing because I was like, wait, what's it called again? Oh, that's right. Um, I want to save this because I cannot speed that Durant. Uh, I don't know the speed of Cryogonal. Slash data Cryogonal. 105 and Sigalith is base 97. So I think what I'm going to do is bring in Swallow. Go for the Protect. Then U-turn. Or honestly, I should be able to just Brave Bird after I protect, I think. Yeah, because from the looks of it, Swallow is going to win me this battle, hopefully. This was actually a really straightforward game, but I guess that's what happens when you have really offensively based teams. And I mean, if my Sajmatoda hadn't had lived the um, Brick Break, he most likely would have actually just swept me with that Barbarical. So that was another factor of it. And I do, I, honestly, the reason why I want a U-turn is, well, no, I mean, Facade should just annihilate this thing. Yeah, okay, for some reason I was thinking that he's going to live any move that I want to go for. And that's just really, really dumb thinking on my part because, I mean, it's a fucking Swallow and Cryogonal has, like, no defense. As it brings in this go I should be able to just Brave Bird and knock that out. And, I mean, even if he brought in Durant, I still have my Magneton. So what it could have done is just you turned out into Sigilyph, brought in... Uh, well, no, I'm... No, I, yeah, because I'm Scarf. So, yeah, I would have been able to just go for, like, a, uh... A flash cannon or bolt switch honestly knocked it out most likely even if he switched out it would have still been my swallow in on the go go so yeah the fact that he just brought in go go directly does not really change the outcome of this game in any way or form holy shit it lived what hello I am I am legitimately shocked okay um yeah holy shit durant is durant has some bulk durant has some bulk but i will be able to finish him off with the thunderbolt wow i was not expecting that it's not expecting that in the slightest but yeah guys that was just a quick game because honestly i've been sitting here for a while and i just because i was using a different team but honestly i did not like that team whatsoever so I decided just to kind of switch it up. But yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy this game. And if you did, guys, as I said, make sure to leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to some more content. Let's take a quick look at the team. Bandit Pangoro did uh, manage to take out that Pyro, which I guess was good. Uh, then we have Sigilyph, just Magneton. Magneton came in handy. Uh, Sigilyph was nice against that uh, Durant. Seismitoad. Oh, ho, ho, Seismitoad. Thank you. Thank you for being so, so naturally bulky. This right here, ladies and gentlemen, this should be the MVP Seismitoad. Because without this Seismitoad, I would have got swept by that Barbarical. Although, I don't know if Magneton being Scarfed outspeeds Barbarical after plus two. I highly doubt it though, just because as you can see, Magneton really isn't all that fast. But yeah, Seismitoad really came in handy. Then we have Ludicolo, which, which played a key role in being Death Fodder. So... Yeah, <laughs> and then Swallow putting in that work. Unfortunately, Swallow did not have enough power to Oko that Duran, which I was honestly just completely surprised about. But yeah, guys, hopefully you did enjoy and you know what to do. So with that being said, I will see you all tomorrow, hopefully. So yeah, later, everybody.